Cryo incarnate. Take your true form. Teamwork is dreamwork. What now? Okay, hello guys, welcome to my new Changing Impact video. Guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the top 5 5 star weapon for the upcoming new character for Rena, our beloved Hydro Archons. So, I'm gonna talk about in detail about all the 5 5 star weapon for Rena. So, stay tuned till the end, guys. Alright, guys, without wasting any time, let's start with the number 5. Number 5 is the Ayato Signatures weapon called Haran Gepaku. Futsu, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I hope I pronounce it right. This weapon gives base attack of 608 and crit rate of 33.1%. And interesting thing about this weapon is the refinement ability. Obtain 12% of elemental damage bonus when another nearby party member use elemental skill. The character equipping this weapon will gain one wave spike stack, max two stack he can gain. This, this effect can be triggered once every 0.3 second when the character equipping this weapon uses an elemental skill all the stack of figures will be consumed to gain a rippling up healing each stack of waste by consume will increase normal attack damage by 20 percent for eight second see guys this elemental skill or sorry this refinement ability is not matching with the kit of the furina but you can use this weapon if you have this weapon and you don't want to go for any other weapons five star weapons you can have this weapon you can gain 12 percent of elemental damage bonus also you're gaining normal attack damage bonus that's clearly useless in the case of furina but yes you're gaining but 12 percent elemental damage bonus is nice and also you're getting 608 base attack with 33.1 percent created so i think this weapon in my office, can soon work on, on furina idea. but not at it's its not right to keep full strength but yeah this weapon will work some. on furina in some way so on number five we have haran gepaku futsu <laughs> Okay guys, on number 4 we have the Ayaka signature weapon, it's called the Miss Splitter Reforge. This weapon, I have this weapon. So, this weapon gives the higher base attack if you compare with the, you know, the number 5 weapon that's a Haran. This weapon gives 674 base attack and I think it's the highest base attack sword in the game. This one also gives you crit damage, 44.1% crit damage, not the highest but yes, it, give it, it gives you 44% crit damage the again the element uh, the refinement ability is not matching with the kit but yes it's workable kind of it's workable with the furina it's giving you 12 percent elemental damage bonus then it's giving you elemental damage stack when your energy is less than 100 percent and when your energy reaches 100 percent you will lose the stack also this giving you the normal attack damage bonus same what we're getting with the heron but in more better way well, like just giving you more damage bonus compared to the heron but yes you can use this weapon for the main two two three reasons that this weapon is giving the highest base attack in the game that's a 674 and also this weapon giving you 44 percent crit damage that's very high and very good and also giving you 12 percent elemental damage bonus and giving you another stack elemental damage bonus so you can have fun with the furina if you have this weapon I, I i don't recommend this weapon but on fourth i think the numbering like the position four is just perfect for misplater in the case of furina so if you have this weapon you can give this weapon to furina but just remember this is not the best or one of the best weapon for furina so on number four guys we have misplater reforged Alright guys, on number 3 we have Nilo's signature weapon called Key of Khaj Nisud. Key of Khaj Nisud is a Sumeru Nilo's signature weapon. It's having a base attack of 542 but comes with the substrat of HP percentage that is 66.2% and we all know Furina is totally based on the HP percentage. The higher Furina have the HP, the higher she's gonna deal the damage on the field. The interesting thing is the refinement, refinement ability is 
even better. HP is increased by 20% when an elemental skill hits opponent. You gain the Grand Heim effect for 20 seconds. This effect increases the equipping character elemental mastery by 0.1% of their max HP. This effect can trigger once every 0.3 second. Max stack is 3. When this effect gains 3 stack or when the third stack duration is refreshed, the elemental mastery of all nearby party member party member will be increased by 2.2% of the equipping character's max HP for 20 second. Guys, uh, Furina is totally based on the elemental skill because his, her elemental skill gives a maximum amount of damage. Uh, his skill is totally scaled on the HP percentages. She uh, also heals. She also deals office, damage in the elemental bus. The she yeah, is the character right you uh, deploy the elemental skin and switches sun. to your DPS character or sub DPS character. So that's how you gonna play with the Furina. So this refinement ability is kind of matching with the kit of the Furina. First of all, it's giving a loss of lots of like 82%, 86% HP percentage like 86 percent hp this we've been giving you 86 percent hp that is literally high and other thing you're getting elemental mastery on the basis of your furina's max hp like equipping characters max hp not only for your equipping character gaining the uh, elemental mastery your whole party members nearby party members getting the elemental mastery that is just insane so we all know there are reaction judging impact is solely based on the reaction damage so if your hydro character having the ele higher elemental mastery so that's gonna be Word very advice, very interesting because when an elemental skill uh, hits the opponent else? so uh, you always gonna yeah, deploy seriously. the elemental skill and don't your elemental skill definitely gonna hit the opponent all the time in the case of furina so definitely you're gonna gain the effect and you're gonna gain the elemental mastery that's why i put this weapon on number three be uh higher than the misplitter or the heron because this weapon is actually very good weapon if you manage to uh, you know maintain the crit ratio the crit damage and, and the crit rate if you manage to get the perfect crit rate and crit damage without a weapon this weapon is literally gonna be the game changer weapon for Farina this weapon is gonna be very very good so on a number I third guy keeping some pets in my office key of the card gave up on the end Okay guys, on so number 2, my personal favorite weapon, like, I just love this weapon, and it's in the game, it's been in the game for ages, guys, for ages. Okay, Primordial Jade Cutter, guys, we already know, and on number 2, I'm putting Primordial Jade Cutter on number 2. This weapon's giving you 542 base attack, but giving you the crit rate, 44% crit rate is just amazing. Like, Primo Miss Splitter giving you 44 crit damage, usually... Uh, crit damage uh, comes higher than the crit rate in any cases like the artifact main strat or the weapon but in this case they are having the same percentages so this giving you 44.1% crit rate the best thing is HP is increased by 20% and additionally providing an attack bonus based on 1.2% of the wielder's max HP I just told you guys we gonna we all gonna build our Furina on the basis of the HP percentage so definitely we gonna give our Furina's lots of lots of HP and if the weapon is providing you more HP this weapon is providing you 44% crit rate alongside with the 20% additional HP and this weapon is giving you 1.2% more bonus attack on the basis of your wielder's max HP so I guess this weapon is gonna be very very good like very close to the signature weapon of Furina if any weapon can compete with straight with the signature weapon of Furina literally this weapon comes very close this weapon is gonna straight competition with the signature weapon of Furina. So on number two, guys, Primordial Jade Cutter. Literally, if you own Primordial Jade Cutter of the key, or Key of the Khatne, so you really don't have to wish for the signature weapon of Furina because these two weapons are lit very very good. I think if you just own the Primordial Jade Cutter, you really don't need to you know go for the signature weapon for Furina because this is as good as the signature weapon. Like not better, but very good, very good. So guys, on number two, the Primordial Jade Cutter. 
Alright guys, on number one, finally we got the number one. Number one is the Splendor of Tranquil Waters, the signature weapon of Rena. Base attack is as same as the Sim Primordial Jade Cutter 542. This giving you 88.2% crit damage, the highest crit damage sword in the game. Literally giving you the if double you the crit damage the Mist Filter provides. 88% crit damage. That's insane.